I want to get out of the way here. Look at my, look at my other mug. Let's see. Oh, I've been using <laughs> boxes the past couple of days that have it in the back. Mine's in the front. I may move it to the back. Oh, I picked up this recorder. I don't know if I showed anybody yet or not. I'm still working with it. Things don't usually just work. But it's a nice little RCA. It's really simple to use. It's pretty loud and clear. It only has two settings. It has a high setting and then it has the lower setting for your for your digital quality. And it's an RCA RP5022B. I think I got it for like nine bucks. If you want, we'll do a quick little session with it. Hello, my name is DJ. Most of you already know, but if there are any new spirits in here that would like to communicate and come up to me and speak, see the little red light right here? You can do that. Tell me your name or say hello. Thank you. And it's as simple as push and play, and every time you record, it creates a new folder so then you can just cycle with the up and down arrows and go to your folder and while you're playing it you can hold down the fast forward or rewind and you can hear it going back like like you know how on the old tape recorders you used to hit play and while it was pushed down you'd hit fast forward to record you could hear it going this does that too I don't think we picked up anything that time, but but that's the new recorder. I use it a little bit each day. I haven't broken any records with it yet, but we'll see. Because I like I like the ease of it. I like the way it's set up. I like that the speakers right here in the front. A lot of them I get them around the back, and I have to turn it around. Uh, no light. Most of them don't. But it's got your mic and your ear plug, and it's got the USB. And I think it's. Two triple A's. So we'll just delete that file. You hit it once and then you hold it. And it is now clear. And to shut it off, there's no power button. You just hit the stop button and it goes into a, a timer mode and that's sleep. So that's that. What should we use today? I'm going to go to box box first. See what we pick up. East to get from distant. All right. Why? And from my mind. Good morning, spirits. East same from Who am I talking to this morning? No. As is better. You So. I'm gonna do it. I don't think the banks matter. Yeah, the stupid. I'm gonna go to one and four. Four side. Dad. Defended. Petition. Four. And. So I've got. I've got my delay on. And it's very low. It's very light. Very light delay. Just a, just a quick snap. And the same goes for my echo. So that we can still hear it and they can still use it. I mean, you don't want... I mean, even, even full echo on this pedal isn't, isn't too bad on most apps. But... 
It's not the way I like to listen to it. Ed. Do you? There's a All right. Can I get the name of who's with me? This is the time that I used to do the sessions. I would come in here and get set up for the day and then I would sit down and, and, and do a session. I don't know if the time of day that you do your sessions matters. Can anybody tell me if the time of day matters of when I do a session? Profit. I've never been called that before. I'm going to join the cabin club. <laughs> you guys know Kevin? You know Kevin Himes? I do. Who are you? Who said I do? Who knows Kevin Himes? What's your name? I. Himes. All right, whoever you are, you tell him I said hello when he does his next session. Can you do that? Can you say DJ said hello? Hmm. Okay, so my question about communication, does it matter what time we sit down and do a session? Is there a better time, day or night? It was not working. There's a word for it. Can you tell me what this is in my hand? Player. Player, yeah, thanks. Okay, I just wanted to com see if the communication was working. How come, how come nobody's using it when I ask? If I turn it on, will you talk into it? It's on. Can you say your name in it? Okay, did you do it? Did you talk into it? Coffee? My coffee? <laughs> did it sound like it said, mmm, coffee? <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to turn this down. Let's see what we got. I don't know if I moved it all. When I, I'll have to go back and watch it. But it sounded like there was something there, but I couldn't make it out. But um, yeah, if so, that's kind of neat. We'll go back and check it out. I'll delete it because it's already on tape. All right, closing it down. I heard something on there. Did you use it? And then. So, I'm using two banks right now out of four. How many should I be using? Did you say all of them? Okay, 
Okay, all four are going. Does that make it easier for you? Very something. See, oftentimes I think about myself when I'm using these apps because I want to be able to hear things. I want to be able to hear them in real time, so I kind of make things slower and I make it more minimal when maybe I should be giving it a little more and hearing it later versus during the session. But, you know, it's a it's a hard balance because you kind of want to communicate in real time. All right, we're going to shut this one off and do a quick matrix session now. That's kind of cool. I heard a few things in there. Okay, I've got a customer that keeps ringing. Me, so hopefully that, hopefully that doesn't get in the way to my phone. <laughs> Please work. Warning. Loading IP stations. Please be patient. This may take several hours. <laughs> is what it should say. It looks like it's not going to work on the first time around. Oh, maybe so. It started spinning again. I'm going to get lucky for once. Uh, lucky. Okay, I do have a few more questions I want to ask. Who's here? Lewis, Jasper, you guys here? Oh, I heard something in there. It sounded like a Lewis. So I want to talk about we had the pig roast at the Virgin House. And there were five, five psychics there, and we did a gallery. Well, they did a gallery reading, and that's when they just take the information that's coming in, and they go to whoever is sitting in the audience, and they give them pretty much a reading or whatever's coming to them or whatever spirit is coming to them. And while one person is doing that, the other psychics are in the back, and they're communicating with each other with what they're hearing and seeing. So it's kind of like a collaboration type thing, which is really cool, and it's their way of getting confirmation, kind of like how we get conver um, confirmation with our silly fingers and, you know, asking them what this is. <laughs> Only I think their way is a little more effective. So... Many people got their readings, including Rick on our team. And seeing as how I've been with Rick for a couple of years now, I already know the spirits that follow him. And his grandfather is pretty much his guardian. And the psychic came up to him, and they didn't even know him. And they saw his grandfather right away. And um, they communicated back and forth. So that was a good confirmation for him, even though he already knew it. For me, now since I got into that trouble there a while ago with the investigation, I made it a, I make it a point to practice white light. And some people may think that's a little crazy, but I don't. Um, I think whatever, whatever you put out there mentally to yourself, to others, whatever I think that resonates and and um, the lady that came up to me I never met her before either and she spoke about what she say a big a big brown bear which everybody's calling me Winnie the Pooh now <laughs> and uh, she talks about a big brown bear and that I needed to hibernate more meaning that I don't rest enough, which is true. You know, I'm, I'm 2, 3 a.m. and I'm up at 7 most days. And uh, I don't rest a lot. But what, 
was interesting to me is that she said that she saw that I emanated white light and that she could see white light around me. Now, I practice that daily. You know, I say my prayers. I, I ask for my guides to, to guide me, to shine down that white light and protect me and keep me, you know, keep me close. And for a psychic to say that they saw white light emanating off of me, that's got to mean something. Because there were about 20 people out there, and only one other person did they say that to. So, for them to see that, and for me to know that I make it a point to practice that, and to keep myself clean, to keep, you know, my, my, my spirit safe and clean, and count on my guides, and and my spirit friends, and you know, I say prayers for all those spirit friends. You know, I, I make sure that that they know that they're safe here, that they're safe to come into my home, and that it's a safe environment. Because there's a lot of negativity, and I go to a lot of places. I can go to a store and go down an aisle and sense something negative. It's it's really weird, you know. But I'm I'm not a psychic. I'm not a medium. I'm I'm none of that. I I just feel a lot of things. And. Uh, to keep yourself clean like that, it helps, I think. I mean, if, tell me what you think in the comments. Hey, tell me what you think in the comments right there. I've never done that before. <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to get better results talking to them at night, I'll come here at night and I'll do a, a session for 20 minutes. You know, it's not a big deal. It's just around the corner. Or I can do one at the house. So that was it. I'm going to try to keep this short. I just put up like a 25 minute video yesterday. So thank you guys for using the recorder. Thank you for coming through on both apps. And do me one more favor before we leave. That EM pump is pumping some energy. It's been going on for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes now. Can you use that and light up my lights? Can you stand, can you stand by me? Please? Yeah. Did anybody notice them on at all while I was yapping? I didn't. Can you please come up to the box and light up the lights for me so I know you're here? No? Okay. I'm not trying to ask you to perform, I just... I just like to know who's here. All right, you guys, have a good day. Talk to you later. Goodbye. And that's it, you guys. Calvin? Who's Calvin? Lewis? Lewis, can you hear me? Jasper, can you hear me? Who's Chris? <laughs> One more time with the Chris. Who's Chris? Is Chris your friend? I dedicated a whole video to that, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, but I'm going to keep plugging away a little bit, see if we can get anything out of it. Aha! There we go. Who's here? Who just lit up, who just lit up the box? Thank you for doing that. So it's nice to know somebody's hanging out with me today. Hmm. Does anybody know how to print?
I'll teach you how to print shirts. Who wants to print shirts? Hmm. Uh, I hit a button. I think I froze it. All right. That's a bummer. Thank you for coming through and thank you for lighting up the box. I appreciate that. Okay, guys. See you. Goodbye. Okay, it's a different day. I'm just gonna add this on to the end of the video real quick. We're not gonna do a long. We're not gonna do a long session here. So last night we were talking about the spirit, Chris, and Chris, are you here? Another reason I wanted to love. Chris, you gotta learn how to use this app if you're here. This is what we use here. Heard that I am in there. Okay, Chris, if you're here, I need you to step up to the table. Please. Stand in front of me. Let me know you're here with these lights. Lewis, Jasper, are you guys here? Help me out with Chris if you could. Did I bring Chris here? Yes, okay. Um, does Chris need help going somewhere? Is Chris attached to that desk that I bought? Job you've undertaken for us. Secrets of success. I bought that antique desk. It's made out of three different, three different antiques. So he could be attached to anything that whatever it once was. <laughs> Chris, are you attached to that desk? Was that was that a piece of furniture that you liked in life? Was it something that you used to work on? Was it a bench? What was that? If it wasn't that piece, was it the other piece that we bought for the kitchen? The island? Okay, we're going to call that piece number one. We're going to call the piece that's at my house number two. Can you tell me which one you're attached to? Which number? What number? I don't have the EQ on. It's just... All right, so as I stated before, there are rules here. And those rules are enforced by Jasper and Lewis. And Lewis stays here, so I don't know what we're going to do about the situation if we do have one. Lewis, what are we doing? Is he staying or is he leaving? Chris, what's your last name? Are you a positive spirit, Chris? Did that light just go on? I was looking outside. I must have been looking for 15 seconds because I just caught out of the peripheral vision. Chris, 
Are you a positive spirit? Lewis, are you okay with Chris being here? Yes or no? I heard a yes. Okay, that that's up to your discretion. Spread enough to take. Chris, you want to join the mafia? <laughs> I kid, I kid. Okay. I never know you in a million. Okay, if you're gonna be here, you gotta talk to me, man. I haven't. I've been trying to talk to you for days. Okay, and, and and you can't follow me home. You got the whole story straight. You got the whole story straight. I still don't know whether he's attached to this piece of furniture or the one at the house. In which case, he's at the house and following me back and forth. Um, so we'll work on that a little more. And if you need some kind of help, you let me know. I obviously. Well, I didn't really pull you away from your surroundings. The person who bought all the materials pulled them away from his surroundings, and then I purchased it again. So if there's something we need to do to help you, um, we're going to do a session here. We're going to do a psychic session here, and we're going to see what's happening and what's going on. And maybe Lewis and Jasper can come forward and help us out a little bit. Does that sound good? Lewis, Jasper, you talk with Rick and uh, Janet? Don't say things like that. Okay, I'm going to cut this short because I still have yesterday's to go through. Thank you guys. Goodbye. All right, goodbye, Chris. All right, let's shut this down. Thank you guys. Missed that. Still not 100% on it, but I think we're getting closer to it. You know, had a little chat with Janet and Kathy last night, and you know, you, you don't think of these things. You know, and you just gotta step back and and think back and figure out what's changed. And sometimes it takes other people to help you jar your memory. And that's what we came up with last night. Can I get an EVP? Can you talk to me in the air? You're not angry, are you? I bought those pieces because I liked them. And there's no disrespect. I use them and I care for them, okay? Alright guys, goodbye.